everyone and welcome back to my channel. You might not have seen this face for quite a while, I don't know yet. It's still the beginning of November, but I don't think I'm going to upload a whole lot of videos on my channel this month because some pretty life-changing things are happening to me. I have bought my own car, which is, it's the first car I've ever owned in my life and it's a pretty huge deal to me. So I'm spending my spare time driving around, getting used to my car and a lot of things are going on in my head these days because of that car and because of work which is pretty hectic and I just don't have a lot of time and focus to read and to think about my channel right now. So I apologize if you haven't seen this face for quite some time. Anyway, that being out of the way, I do want to show you two books which I received yesterday and which are new books to me. I decided to spoil myself a little bit and get me first of all the fourth book in the Dublin Squad Dublin Murder Squad series by Tana French. You know I love this series and I got myself Broken Harbor. I devoured the first three books and I've been in the mood to continue reading. So I'm pretty excited about this one. And then I also decided to Crave and Get Vengeful by V.E. Swap, which is the sequel to Vicious that I have read. I have it on my shelves and I was quite impressed by that book. So these two books are waiting for me and I actually have another book which I am about to get at the library which is on hold for me but I might show that book to you later. And that's it for my update. I will now get me some lunch and go to the library in my new car. Copenhagen yesterday and while I was there I bought myself a book and that is The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. I mean I couldn't resist. I have heard about this book and I've heard excellent things about it. It takes place in Japan. Yes, Japan and it's basically about a road trip in which a cat keeps appearing. I think that's what it's about at least. So I knew I had to have this beautiful naked hardback edition in my collection. I still haven't finished a book even though it's already the 10th of November which is very atypical for me. But I have two books on the go which I've almost finished. So let me just show you the books. First of all we have The Toy Makers by Robert Dinsdale. I've been meaning to read this book for months now because it appealed to me and I was curious to see if it was a book that I would like because it seems to divide the waters and I have only about 50 pages left now and I will say it's very magical and very inspiring. I think it's perfect for this time of the year because it's basically about a toy shop that appears every year on the day of the very first frost. So very appropriate for November. And the other one I'm currently reading is the one I got from the library and that is Every Note Played by Lisa Genova. This one is about a disease that hits a pianist and he is a world famous pianist. So basically this disease makes him incapable of using his hands and his fingers and his whole body. So it's about how that affects his life and also how it affects his family and friends. Lisa Dinova is really good at writing these kinds of stories about diseases that affect your life. So that one is very enjoyable as well, even though it's also very sad, obviously. I finally finished my first book of the month, this one. This one was in many ways very metrical. It's one of those books that is able to transform you to a different time and a different world where we have a toy shop and I loved it. I gave this one four stars because I did have some difficulties in the beginning 
getting into the writing style and into this world but once it got going i felt magical and this is definitely a book for escapism if you need that in your life so yeah four stars it is it's still the same day and i just finished the second book i was reading which is every note played by lisa genova and i literally just finished it and i was affected by this book it was sad it was eye-opening and it was very educating. What Lisa Tinova does is that she writes about diseases. So I'm pretty sure you've heard of Still Alice, which has also been turned into a movie. That one was about the disease of Alzheimer's. This book, however, is about the disease of ALS, which is a disease that paralyzes you from, yeah, all over your body. And the protagonist in this book is a pianist who of course lives and breathes his piano playing so it's devastating for him to have this disease that gradually takes his freedom from him and the piano playing but Lisa also very much writes about the families and how they are affected by this so it's a very sad book which I, it took me some time getting used to because of the simplistic writing style but the characters, which were kind of arrogant to begin with, I grew to love. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I really love this book and I gave it four stars. So it's definitely one that I do recommend. This handsome boy is seven years old today. Right, Zeus? Seven years? You're such a big boy. And I'd actually almost forgotten about his birthday, which I feel so bad about, but... I had completely forgotten it and started my day and then I received a message on my phone from his insurance company. I have insured my cat. Anyway, they wished him a happy birthday and I was like, oh yeah, today is his birthday. So I immediately grabbed a can of tuna and I spoiled him with that and with some treats and now everything is good, I think. This month is absolutely crazy. I mean, work is crazy, my private life is crazy and I feel like it's been ages since I last talked to you. But I did manage to finish a book just a few minutes ago. That was this one, A Gentleman in Moscow by Amo Towels. I predicted for this book to be a five star read for me and it turns out it was because while it's a very subtle story which is kind of slow going it's also so captivating and intriguing how the setting of a hotel and this one man can captivate you and make you want to keep on reading and keep on being in his company I just really really liked it. The ending was, well people said to me while I was reading it that it was one of the best endings that ever read and when people do that I don't always agree. I'm, I think it's because my expectations become way too high so I feel like the ending was okay but not the best I've ever read which is unfortunate. I was really looking forward to it but nonetheless I do think it's a great book. I gave it five stars as I said and i haven't really talked too much about what it's about but i'm sure you know it's a russian revolution story but it's more about a man who is imprisoned in a hotel because he can't spread his political views it sounds a bit boring but it isn't i promise you it's early in the morning and i have now finished how to stop time by matt haig and i feel like this story was a bit mediocre meaning that the premise is interesting. It's about this guy who never grows older. At least the process is very slow going. So he's able to live for hundreds of years. And when we meet him, he has lived for about 400 years already. But what I didn't like about this is that Matt Haig, the author, does the obvious thing, which is to make this character who is very ordinary, meet all of these very famous people throughout history, all of a sudden he sits in the bar with F. Scott Fitzgerald and it kept on happening and it was too convenient. It felt like I would have preferred a story which was more about the man himself and how he dealt with this thing. And I just, I don't know. It also was about that, but in the end I just only liked it, didn't love it. I gave it three stars and I also feel like the language was a bit 
abrupt and staccato-like, the writing and the sentences were, were very short and not that great to read. So, three stars for me it is. Sius and I now need to find out what to read next. And the thing is, I have a whole stack of books down here that I know I'm going to have to read in the near future. But I have no idea. I've been considering all day which one of these ones to pick up. I'm not... I don't know. I feel like I should pick up this one, No Vengeful by V Swap, just because it's a very new release and a lot of people are reading it at the moment. But I kind of regret having bought it because I think the booktube hype got to me and that's why I bought it. But I'm not really that interested in the story. So who knows what I will pick up, but it will be one of these four books. At least I think so. I just finished the most wonderful little book about cats. This book that I bought in the bookstore the other day happened to be the most heartwarming book that will speak to every cat lover's heart, I believe. It's a book that allows for you to be inside the head of a cat, but it's also a regular story about a man who, well, he has to get rid of his pet even though he loves him dearly. And it's about that journey together and as I said we are inside the, the head of a cat as well and it's a wish I've had for years since I became a cat owner to know what cats are thinking and I feel like this book gave a funny insight into that and also this book wraps up absolutely beautifully and I was finishing it while my own cat Zeus was lying in my lap purring so that was just magical I love this book to pieces and I gave it five stars and I'm so happy I bought it and that I now have it in my collection. It's one of those books that I will look at and have a smile on my face thinking back on this gorgeous, gorgeous story.